I'm Pastor Julian, and this is Central's Devotion for Today. People like to put other people in a box. Other people have put you in a box, a box of assumptions, a box of this is the characteristics of you, what I can expect, this is your identity. They think that they know you. And sometimes these boxes that other people put us in, we feel like we need to stay in those boxes so that they feel comfortable. Well, they think I'm goofy, and so I need to do goofy things when I'm around them. Well, they think that I'm, uh, that, that I'm intelligent and scholarly, and so I need to sound intelligent and scholarly and, and say scholarly things when I'm around them. Whatever it might be these boxes that other people put you in and that you do put other people in as well we need to understand that we have the ability and we should not allow that to hamper us from being who we are in Jesus Christ and making the changes to our lives and behavior that reflect our Lord and our Savior Hear this. This is uh, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 6, verses 1 to 3. This says, and it's talking about Jesus, He went away from there and came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. And on the Sabbath he began to teach in the synagogue. And many who heard him were astonished, saying, Where did this man get these things? What is this wisdom given to him? How are such mighty works done by his hands? Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary and brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? And are his sisters not here with us? And they took offense at him. Here is Jesus living out what he, who he is and his mission where he is preaching in the synagogue these astonishing things, this incredible wisdom, and doing miracles. And yet, the people in his hometown, who he grew up with, who knew him for quite some time, are saying, isn't this just Jesus? Uh, His sisters still live here. That's Mary's son. And they, it says they took offense at him. Jesus, who, who is allowing his divine powers to be manifest, and the mission that God called him to is, is, is active right now. And they are finding offense at this, because Jesus does not fit in to the box that they had put him in prior to that. This is not Jesus. This is what we assume Jesus was. We know his sisters. We know his family. This is who he is. This person doing miracles and preaching wisdom, this, that's not the Jesus we know. And they took offense at it. I want to encourage you that as you follow Jesus and you become more godly, and you surrender to the will of the Holy Spirit in your life, and allow the Spirit to guide you. When you make decisions, and your behavior changes, and maybe some of your personality changes, your priorities most certainly will change. You might be called to do things that other people might scratch their heads at. Be encouraged that Jesus knows exactly how you feel if other people take offense to that because you don't fit inside the box that they assumed for you. So go out there, be different, continue to change. We're supposed to change. We're supposed to grow into the image of God, of Jesus Christ, more and more every day. And that's what we're created. We're created in the image of God. And so we are supposed to forge through to look like Jesus, that perfect image of God, every single day and that means changing that means being different and that means possibly offending people because we don't fit into their box of assumptions 
Go forth and know that you have a God that knows exactly how you feel and what you're going through. God bless you.